current project is to program an Arduino to control four aspect signals like the one that I'm showing you at the moment. The particular model is available from Train Tech, comes in kit form. I propose using blocks of four of these to control the block signaling on my layout. Looking down on my development board you can see that I've set up four four aspect signals using four LEDs for each. Uh, one red, two yellows and a green. The program I've written allows me to switch from block to block and realistically recreate block signaling controlled by the Arduino. I have the LEDs switched off at the moment because they tend to glare in the camera but uh, I think I can actually show you them in operation. So if I switch the power on we start off with all four blocks being at green. A train comes along into the first block and enters the block. The first signal will turn red. When it leaves the block and moves to the second block or the adjoining block the second signal turns to red and the first signal turns back to yellow. When it leaves the second block and moves to the third block, the third signal turns red, the second signal turns to single yellow, and the first signal turns to double yellow, as you would expect. Finally, when the train moves to the fourth block, the final signal turns red, and the others follow in the normal sequence. And after a given time delay, the third and fourth signals will turn back to green as expected to complete the sequencing and this then repeats each time the first, second, third and fourth blocks are entered. The movement of the train into the blocks is controlled by sensors which are these pairs of uh, phototransistors and infrared transmitters. There are four of them on the board here, one for each of the light sets. As these are passed over by the train they will uh, change the next particular setting that is required. The circuit being used is quite simple and I've drawn it out uh, roughly on the, the sheet I'm showing you now. Basically it consists of two active components, a phototransistor and an infrared transmitter, uh, which are connected to 5 volt with a current limiting resistor uh, in both. The diode is transmitting an infrared uh, signal all the time. Um, it just has a current limiting resistor which limits the amount of current that passes through it. When a train passes over the phototransistor that switches on and allows current to flow down to ground. This in turn pulls this rail which is attached to the Arduino down to um, ground level um, where it would normally sit at 5 volts when this transistor is not switched on. Um, the program then as a result of that we'll then switch one of the appropriate signals. Each of the signal has its own detector. I've only drawn one for the sake of simplicity. Each of the four aspect signals comprises of four LEDs which are connected back to the Arduino via a limiting resistor. Because everything is working off of a 5 volt supply a 220 ohm resistor is appropriate for the amount of current we want to pass through the lead, approximately 15 milliamps. If you were using a, a higher voltage you'd obviously use a, a higher resistor value. In order to mount the detectors on the underside of the track I've encapsulated both components and their associated resistors into uh, a tube which I just shrunk on and then it has just three wires coming out of it a ground wire, a 5 volt wire to feed these two resistors and a signal wire which goes to the Arduino. 
I've chosen to use the Arduino 2560 because of its great number of digital I.O. pins, 54 in total. It also has 16 uh, analog pins. This will allow me to service up to 12 four aspect signals or three groups of four which is what I want to achieve. Now as each signal requires four pins to switch the LEDs plus a ground to program the three sets of four, 12 signals in all, I need 48 pins and this can be achieved with the 2560. I also need an analog pin for each of the detectors and there will be 12 of those in total. There's no reason why of course if you're programming for less signals or only four signals you can't use one of the smaller Arduino boards, the Arduino Uno or um, something similar. The next stage of the project is to complete the wiring to the signals. I only have four at the moment uh, and I've got to do a total of 12 uh, so quite a bit of wiring to be done. Part 2 actually cover the installation on the layout and testing. Anyway, I hope you found this video uh, enjoyable and thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, please press the subscribe button and look forward to seeing you again further down. Bye for now.